They said, oh, your child was absent from school. Okay, and my child is alive. And what? What, sis? What? Purr! What's up, ass babes? It's your girl, Joy, back with another banger, baby. Oh, y'all check out my mic. Mic one, check one. Mic two, check two. I'm rocking on a mic for me and you. I'm gonna do this dance with my boo. I'm rocking that mic up and down, on all, all, all over town. Rock that mic, girl. Rock that mic, girl. Rock that mic, girl. And don't you rock, girl. Rocking on the mic, girl. Oh, that was too much. All right, y'all. But let me tell you, I'm in the studio live. I'm rocking on the mic. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing testing the mic, and I'm testing. Huh? <laughs> Alexa, ain't nobody talk to you. Quiet. Okay, but baby, isn't my mic cute? It's really not for my studio. It's for, I'm not going to tell y'all what it's for because I just got to break out everything all at one time. But listen, listen, listen. Let me put that mic over here. Let me put that mic over there. Okay, let me put that mic over there. So, listen. Listen, quiet. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Let me tell you, baby, somebody got arrested at my daughter's school, honey, at the girls' school. Let me tell you, this is serious. This is serious. You better believe me. I just finished recording something for my class, okay? But listen, so this news spread like wildfires, okay? It was like a wildfire. It spread in like 0 0.19 seconds. 0 0.19 I didn't say 19 seconds I said 0 0.19 which is faster than 19 seconds <sighs> so anyway somebody was making threats so my they were gonna they were gonna shoot up the school that's what they were saying so that news spread so fast and I was like somebody I know somebody's gonna um, tell the principal about this or the administration so baby my daughters was like, we are not going to school. I was like, I agree. You don't need to be going to school because you just don't know what people are going to do. But when people think that they're joking around or being funny, they have to take all these threats seriously. And your life is kind of jacked up. And this was somebody at their school, a disgruntled student. I don't know what it was. But baby, the principal sent out emails to all the parents, all the families in the middle of the night. My girl stayed home. And so I guess due to privacy reasons, they can't really talk about it too much or give too much information on a case. But he said, but they said, because we can't, but they say the situation has been handled. And then they was talking about, oh, we're going to have extra police on hand, on standby. Okay, but my kids are staying home. Hardly anybody went to school. And I don't blame them. You, you, that's, that's a terroristic threat. So the girls stay home. And then I believe it was either that. No, it was the next day. They sent the, um, another email. They said they couldn't talk about it too much. That the person was taken into custody. So before you think about making threats. Even if you uh, don't mean it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't make no threats. And you joke around. Don't make threats anyway. You know, uh, if you got issues, you need to seek some counseling or something like that to work out your problems. But you don't need to harm anyone or threat anyone with harm. Don't do not do that. You need to seek help. Just, just be able to reflect and think about getting some help for yourself or signing yourself in a hospital or something like that. But you scared hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of children, maybe thousands, um, and, and forced them to stay home. So anyway, my girls stayed home. They did go to school the next day. And because the principal said the person was taken into custody. But can you imagine getting emails like that? Or your children getting texts? Th their phones were blowing up about this this, this poor child talking about they're going to harm people at their school. Baby, it made my nerves bad. So the girls stayed home. They was like, we're staying home. I'm like, okay. Okay. 
that done with all this virtual stuff, you ain't missing nothing anyway. You can just hop online and get the lesson anyway. And so, um, they said, oh, yeah, child was absent from school. Okay, and my child was alive. And what? What, sis? What? Purr! Send your little automated email. Send your little automated voicemail if my child is alive, okay? And hopefully that, that person gets the help that they need. And I feel sorry for their parents, too, because nobody has children that's going to threaten a school or anything like that so i feel bad for the parents too so with that said i wanted to give y'all that little bit of tea honey i wanted to give y'all that tea that doesn't make my nerves bad y'all all right y'all i hope you guys are being safe and being okay i got some sad news from another subscriber but I, she probably don't want me telling her business but i want you i want you guys to keep her uplifted in prayers for her and her family experience the devastating loss a devastating loss, a senseless loss. And I strongly feel that somebody needs to pay for that loss. Somebody needs to be responsible for that and I think it's an adult. So, you know, I don't want to talk about her business, but just keep her uplifted in prayer as her family deals with the loss, a loss of a, um, a special family member way too soon. All right, guys, keep your head up, stay positive. And um, I love you guys, and thank you for your continued support, all five of y'all. <laughs> That's about to turn into five million in my head, okay? <laughs> all right, guys, bye, y'all.